What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. I'm John the Video Guy and in this video I'm going to be going over the top websites to use in 2023 if you're looking for stock footage or music. I'm going to be going over my favorite free and also paid sites that I use all the time as a professional video editor and motion designer. And like any major life decision, I like to make a pros and cons list. So I'll be writing down my pros and cons for each site as we review them. The links to them are also down in the video description if you do want to go and check them out. And just a note, before we dive in, none of these companies have reached out to me to sponsor. I'm just giving my honest overview and opinion using these different services. So the first one I'm going to be reviewing is called Mixkit. When you go to mixkit.com, you'll see a few sections at the top right. There's video, music, sound effects, and templates. For example, if you hover over templates, you can click on Premiere Pro. Since I'm a Premiere Pro video editor, there's specific openers and transitions that work well in Premiere Pro. Now one note, Mixkit is owned by Envato Elements, so you might see some signage to go to the Envato Elements. Just be sure you don't click on that if you're trying to download something for free. And like I said, Mixkit is completely free. So a lot of these openers and graphics and such you can download absolutely free to use in your video projects. For example, you can go into titles and say if we wanted this title right here, you just click on it you can click the download button to download it and install it inside Premiere Pro. Now probably the biggest pro of using Mixkit is definitely their titles and transition packs. A lot of these are really well designed. You could spend a lot of money on certain stock websites, but here you have a lot of free, really high quality graphics that you can use in your project, as well as transitions. When you go into the transitions section, you have a lot of free zoom transitions, you have some glitch transitions. There's a lot of cool elements that you can download from this website to really spice up your video projects. Now let's talk a little bit about the cons. If you go into their video section, there's kind of a smaller library. It's not that vast, and especially a lot of these free video stock video websites don't really have a lot when it comes to like, you know, searching for very specific terms. For example, if we click on the video section and we type in city, you can see there's some city shots here, right? But say if you specifically wanted like maybe a specific city such as Cleveland, my hometown, you can see there's no results found and then it points you to Envato Elements where there is a wider range of stock footage to choose from. And the other thing with this library is that their songs aren't the highest quality as well. So that's my view on Mixkit. Let's move on to the next one. Next on the list is Pixels and Pixels is a free stock video and photo website. When you go to their website, you can search for anything. So for example, we'll search for people. And you can see you get a lot of different people shots. And right off the bat, you'll notice that you have both horizontal and vertical options. If we scroll up to the very top, the top right, there's a filters button and you can actually sort by horizontal, vertical or square. And you can also sort by sizes if you want large or small videos. And if you find a video you want, you can click on it. Then at the top right, click on free download. Now definitely one of the pros that jumps out at me when using pixels is if you are really looking for vertical video content. If you're a vertical video creator, this is definitely a go-to website because there's not a lot of other stock video websites where you can download specifically video created in a vertical format. Now, of course, you can download 8K and 4K video and then resize it to, you know, vertical. But, you know, if you really just want a vertical created video, then this is a good website for you. Now let's talk about some of the cons when it comes to pixels. Obviously, same as Mixkit, it has a small library. So there's not going to be a lot of, you know, if you're trying to search for a very specific city or specific things, you might not find them. The other thing to note about pixels is that you don't really have control over the frame rates. So for example, I have a Premiere Pro project open and I imported some videos from Pixels. You'll notice in the project panel, these videos have different frame rates. Quite random too, these four videos here have 25 frames per second. This one has 59.94 and this first one here has 23. Although the frame rates are an issue, this isn't a bad website if you're just looking for some simple free stock footage to use. Now let's go on to number three. The third website on my list is YouTube's audio library. A lot of people might not know, but YouTube offers a free audio library that you can use for your YouTube videos, especially if you're a creator here on YouTube. When you're logged into YouTube, be sure that you're in your creator studio and scroll down to the bottom left and click on the audio library button. This will open up the audio library and you can choose from the filters in the top left for a specific genre or also a specific mood as well. When you find something you like, hover over the song and go to the far right hand side and there should be a download button. 
Now, what's really nice about YouTube's audio library is that it's 100% worry-free on YouTube. You don't have to worry about your video getting demonetized or having issues you know, with copyright strikes. You'll also notice that there's a sound effects option as well. You can search for sound effects. Now, personally, I've used this before and it's kind of difficult to find the right sound effects sometimes. Sound effects in general are harder to find and search for, but this is also a nice feature that you can browse through. Now let's talk about some of the downsides. Obviously the quality isn't gonna be as great as if you you know, bought a dedicated music license from a website such as Artlist, which we will be getting into later on how Artlist is. But outside of the quality, the other thing you wanna keep in mind when using YouTube's audio library is that you're limited to the platform. Now from personal experience, I've used some songs on Instagram or Facebook and they have gotten flagged by Facebook, you know, saying you can't use it on that platform. Now this may or may not happen to you depending on the video project and the platforms that you're using. So that's YouTube. Now let's go into the next one. And the next one is a shameless plug, my own website, johnthevideoguy.com. If you go to the store section here on my website, there is both free and paid stuff that you can buy and download from the website. There's a free animated elements Mogur starter pack that you can download for Premiere Pro. It has 20 different assets that you can use, such as pops and arrows. These are really nice to just add to your video to add some, you know, pops or different elements to your scene. And then below that, if you want to go deeper and get more assets, there's also my Patreon community that you can join for a monthly subscription and you get assets, including Mogurts, LUTs, and templates. Now, obviously the pro here is there's a completely free animated elements, which, you know, I've browsed a lot of the other stock free video websites and there's not really a lot of just animated elements. So be sure to go and at least grab that for yourself. But also there is the Patreon community that I just started a few months ago. It's still growing, so it is obviously a smaller library of assets. But if you like this channel and want to support it, it would really help it. Now let's move on to some of the paid services that I use as a video editor. The first one on the list is Storyblocks. Now Storyblocks ranges from $15 to $35 per month, depending on the package that you select. I actually have access to a legacy Storyblocks account where it actually used to be video blocks. So I actually only have like video only, which is weird. So I can't really speak on the music and sound effects side of things. But when you browse their plans, there's the starter plan at $15 a month, and then you can go all the way up to the pro $35 a month. So let's talk about their video library. One of the first things you'll notice once you start browsing on Storyblocks is that they have a really large library of high quality video content. This is my go-to website for searching for specific video stock footage. So like how we were saying about Cleveland, you can type in Cleveland and you'll get a lot of stock footage of Cleveland showing up. Now to the left, like I was mentioning earlier about pixels, you can't control the frame rate, but on um, Storyblocks you can. So if you're only looking for 29.97, then you can find footage just in that. Or if you're working on a film project, you can actually click on that, check that box and maybe 4K, and then only those videos will pop up. Now Storyblocks not only has stock video, but they also have a lot of cool templates and graphics as well. Over the stock media tab, you can click on it and then go down to video footage, backgrounds, templates. They do have a lot of nice After Effects templates. Now, although I don't have a plan with a audio specific package, I do have to say when I was browsing the audio section, it wasn't as high quality as like Artlist or some of the other ones that I've used. That's really the only con that I can really think of for Storyblocks. Otherwise it is really, really high quality stock footage. Now let's move on to probably one of my favorite ones, which is Envato Elements. There's actually only one subscription for Envato Elements. It's $16.50 a month, and you get access to millions of creative assets with unlimited downloads. Envato Elements is really just a one-stop shop in general because you can download graphics, songs, sound effects, templates, stock footage, stock motion graphics, really any creative asset, Envato Elements has it. So as we browse their website here, one of the pros is definitely their motion graphics. Working in the entertainment industry, I use a lot of VJ loops and stuff. And I have to say a lot of their motion graphics when you browse on their websites are really high quality. I really like their filter section on the far left. So if I'm looking for background specifically, I can click on that. And specifically for live events, I want to go all the way down to the bottom left and click on looped. That way I make sure that the animation loops. 
And likewise, similar to Storyblocks, there's a frame rate section. So I can choose my frame rate as well, as well as a resolution section. Another pro is their sound effects library. I use their sound effects a lot in video projects. Now, one weird thing about Envato Elements is that they have a weird licensing structure. For example, if you want to download this whoosh sound effect, what you'll want to do is click on the far right button, actually assign it to a project. In most cases, I just create one project, the company I work for, and then just hit add and download. Now, this may be problematic if you use Envato Elements for music sometimes. Say if you download a song and you use it in a YouTube video and upload it, you might get flagged and have to actually upload and submit the license to YouTube. So just keep that in mind if you're using music from Envato Elements. Now let's go to the next one, which is Artlist. There's actually a lot of different plans for Artlist, and it really ranges from $9 to $68. You can see that there's bundles if you want to get footage as well, or if you just want to do music and sound effects, you can go and click on this one. For me personally, I have the Creator Pro plan under music and sound effects, which just covers music, but it's music for pretty much anything commercial related on any platform. So like I was talking about earlier, you don't really have to worry about it, you know, working on Instagram, YouTube, it'll work on all, you know, platforms, and you don't have to worry about commercial licensing as it's all included. So when you go to their website, where you'll want to go is just click on the music tab when you're looking for music. And similar to Envato Elements and even the YouTube audio library, there's a section for genre to the far left if you want to apply a filter. So for example, if I'm looking for electronic, you can click on electronic. And I have to say a lot of their songs are really high quality. That is definitely a pro for Artlist. Now there are some cons when working with Artlist. One of the notable ones is that there are no stems. So if you find yourself mixing music a lot, you might not want Artlist. You might want to substitute it for maybe something like Epidemic Sound that does have stems or maybe even Digital Juice. Those songs have stems as well. The other thing um, when I use Artlist, I find myself spending a lot of time trying to find the right song. Their filter section could be improved a little bit more to really fine tune exactly the type of vibe and song. One thing I have to say about Envato Elements, comparing it to Artlist, is that Envato Elements has so many filter options, it really winds down your selection. Where Artlist, since they have more independent artists, their songs are kind of mixed more. So it's kind of more difficult to narrow down your feeling and search in their uh, filter settings. Where on Envato Elements, there's a lot of different filters that you can choose to really narrow down the type of feeling for the song that you're going for. If only the Artlist license combined with the Envato music, that would be magical. Okay guys, so that was it for my list. Now I'm gonna go over my top three favorite ones that I would pick if I was starting out. If I only had enough money to afford one, I would probably go with Envato Elements. It is obviously the number one choice. It is definitely the one-stop shop when it comes to creative assets. And it's at an affordable price of only $16.50. And if you were to add on to it, I would get Artlist. So that would be my number two option. Just because Artlist has a lot of unique music assets in it, I find myself, if I can't find a song on Envato Elements, I usually go to Artlist to try to find one there. And number three to keep in your back pocket would be Mixkit. You might be surprised what you can find on Mixkit. There's a lot of high quality graphics and transitions like I mentioned. Always be sure to check there first before you make a purchasing decision. So which subscription are you going to choose? Leave your comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.